In the last lecture, you learned the first way to really increase your Twitter followers, and that was to get more retweets. That pushes you into other people's social network. And I showed you four ways to get more retweets. Now, in this lecture, we're gonna optimize your profile in five steps. So I suggest you watch this lecture all the way through. Then at the end, you follow these guidelines to create your own Twitter profile. Now, the first thing to note is that all Twitter accounts are created equal. So there's no difference between a personal or professional account in terms of extra features and functionality. So that's unlike Facebook. Maybe I'll change that. Unlike Facebook, we're on Facebook, we noted that you should really set up a separate business page and not promote your business from your personal profile because you get access to insights, all these extra tools, advertising abilities, all of that type of stuff. So Twitter is essentially like YouTube, all of the extra features and functionalities are there from the start. So therefore, if you're the driving force behind your business, you can just use your personal profile to promote your business on Twitter. This makes it much easier to promote your business in a more human and approachable way without having to manage two accounts. So I can tell you from experience that managing two accounts can get complicated. If you don't really need to do it, I wouldn't suggest to do it. Or if you just wanna get started on Twitter and see how it works out, you could maybe start with your a personal profile and work from there. So the first thing that you're gonna to have to do is create an account you can sign up with in just a normal email, and I've included the link there. The next thing, when you go through the sign up process, you're gonna to have to follow a couple of people, etc. The first main thing you're gonna to have to do is select a Twitter handle, and essentially this is your username on Twitter, and I'll show you mine here. So I've just got it here, it's at Dara M. Walsh. So what I would recommend for your Twitter handle is that you keep it consistent across all social profiles. What I have done is I have Dara M. Walsh at gmail.com is my email on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, any other social network that I set up as well. I try and keep the same new username so that it's consistent everywhere because this ad username has become very popular. It's on um, you know, Instagram, for example, etc. So if you wanna to say to people, follow me at this username, they can get you on all of the social media pl platforms and that you don't have a different username for every single platform that you want. So what I've done is just use my personal name. If you have a business name, you probably wanna try and keep that consistent with what you've used on maybe Facebook to set up your account there or whatever the username that you've got set up. So the Twitter handle, it's your username, keep it consistent across all profiles. So we're already through to step two. Now we're getting into the Twitter icon and you can really use a close up shot of your face or a simple business logo. This is really your Twitter icon here. For me, it's just a profile picture because I'm using it on my personal account. But let's have a look at some examples here. Uh, let's have a look at, say, Coca-Cola. You can just see that uh, this is Coca's uh, song, a Share. You can see, though, that similar to Facebook, etc., these images appear very small. And so you can see right here, it's quite hard to read this text. And maybe just a simple, uh, you know, text or just a simple logo would be good. Share a Coke and a song, maybe this is a promotion they're running, so they're using this space to promote that. But essentially, you wanna keep this logo simple. You can see that they've just used two colors. And just be aware that it really gets shrunk down very, very small. And uh, so when you're creating a, a, a simple logo or representation of your business, keep it two colors, keep it simple. And just remember it's gonna ultimately be that small. Very easily to upload a profile image, you just click on this section here and you will be able to upload it. Now you can look at um, other profile pictures as well. Um, really just go through Facebook, look at maybe some of the key people in your industry as well. So searching again now for uh, those people, you can see it's a 
a lot of the good guys, a lot of the good the accounts, it's like a close headshot. It's not you in the distance on a beach, say. It's close up face shot, uh, a clear background. You can see here, this is pretty good for Rand Fishkin. It's like a blue background. It's He really pops off the page in terms of his uh, face. And uh, it's just very simple. Close up, close up, close up, close up. People want to recognize your, your features, your face close up. And uh, that's really what is important there. So you can come in here, type in your keyword again, see the key accounts, see what other people are doing. But probably for a personal account, what you're gonna notice is a flat background, an easy, you know, not a distracting background, a close up face shot. And that's all you really need to do. Once again, I'd recommend your profile picture is consistent across all of your social media profiles um, and online profiles so that people can find you there. Now the next thing that you can do is upload a Twitter header image if you want. You can leave this on, uh, on a default one. I've personally just left it as a default for the moment. I might come back and up, update this myself. And if you do want to update this, you can get sizes and header templates at canva.com. So you can come into Canva. We've looked at this tool a number of different times. I would just recommend this over and over again. You can see I use it to make the designs for this course. And if you come into create a design, come down to more, you can see here that down here, there is a Twitter header. So this has all the correct dimensions and you can see exactly how it's going to look like if you're uh, icon your photos in here. Now, once again, I would recommend similar to Facebook when we looked at the header images that you keep a lot of the important information, maybe over to reward the right sign, you can right side, you can include call to actions. And you can take some of these free templates if you want, and just copy and paste them in. So let me try and find something. If you're based in a particular location, you can maybe include include an image there. You could include a quote, you could include a link off to your website. There's really a huge amount that you can do with this uh, header space if you want. The simplest thing you can do is just not to use it, just to get started. But you can up update this as well on maybe a seasonal basis to promote certain events, things that you're doing. Uh, you can see here, here is another one as well. Some of these elements are paid, but a lot of them are free here. And even a simple design um, can really make your Twitter profile look that little bit better. So that is the free tool to do it. There's templates there, all the sizes are perfect. And I'd really recommend Canva if you want to do that. But once again, not an essential, don't let there be a barrier to really get you getting started on Twitter. Now the final thing that you can do to optimize your profile is to update your Twitter bio. So this is important. When you come into um, Twitter here, you can see you have a little bio here. And I might actually take a little bit of time to update this myself. But your bio is really the only place you have to tell people who you are. It's basically an elevator pitch on steroids. It's really short. Um, and so you want to try and make best use of this. Now, this is easier to do if you're doing loads of stuff. Like, let me show you an example here. Um, you know, if you have a lot of social proof, you're in involved with a lot of companies, this can be good. So family first, but after that businessman CEO of this company, you can see that he's included the account in here, the Twitter profile of his business, co-founder of another company, host of this, uh, and do that loads hustle and the NY jet. So including another account. So there's a huge amount of information included in a very short space of time. Um, you probably had maybe all, almost a professional help him with that. But you can get some inspiration from this and uh, really fill out your own Twitter bio as well. Another great one that we can look at here actually is um, Richard Branson famous entrepreneur. And uh, similarly, he tells a little bit of something about himself. And, uh, you know, tie loather, so he doesn't like to have a tie, he's an adventurer, he's a philanthropist, troublemaker, who believes in turning 
ideas into reality, other known as Dr. Yes at Virgin. So he's the CEO of Virgin as well, which he's linked up in his uh, account there as well. So those are probably two good examples to have a look at Richard Branson and Gary V. And uh, what you want to avoid are maybe meaningless buzzwords like marketing guru, networking ninja, coffee addict. Instead, tell us what you do or believe in, include keywords and you know your employers where appropriate. So you can include the links to uh, your employers there. So take a little bit of time to optimize your profile, use that header space, use your icon, use the bio, uh, make sure you have that handle and keep it consistent across social profiles. And uh, that is really it. So take a little bit of time to go in now to Twitter to set up your account to optimize. And that's going to be important before you start to add and promote it and to really get tweeting. So take maybe 10, 15 minutes to go ahead and do this. You can always keep updating this as you, as you go along. So once again, have a starting point. You don't have to do the he header uh, to, uh, from right from the start. You can leave that for later. You include a short bio, you can improve it as you go along. And uh, don't let that be a barrier to really getting you started. You can improve these things and optimize them as you go along. So take a couple of minutes to do that. And then I'll see you in the next lecture where we'll look at how to really promote your Twitter and uh, springboard into Twitter, really leveraging other online profiles that you already have. So we'll see you in the next lecture to learn how to promote your Twitter in five different ways.